Rhodia. We're here in Rhodia. Alright, what is going on here? First off, we have a merchant. Yeah, let's see what you got to trade. Junk sold. So you got some Kevlar vests. You got some Kevlar suits. A little inventory. Ah, K47. Balance goes well. It shoots a little quicker. So you got a little bit of DPS. What's that? That's a submachine gun? Oh, now it goes to MP5, that's for sure. I'm mean, close. What's that? 33 or 38. Looks like compared was 45. That's eh, not as good. Alright, so there's nothing really as good here. Yeah, suppressor. Yeah, I can sold that. I don't need any more. Antibiotics. Now I'm kind of low on scrap right now. I don't think I need to buy anything from him. going on with these? Oh, synths! Alright. Alright, let's head on. Oh, they're on. I'm going to activate uh, perception fields. Let's head on up here. I ain't never paid to get in a road here before. Rules have changed, old man. Now that the right honorable enormous old biggin is in charge. I didn't vote for an enormous. <laughs> Voting. Now pay up. Six bullets per person. He I was said I'm voting. Well, Listen I'm here, girly. I don't have to. Paid in full. Now who's next? Wait a minute. How is he making those gaunt and gurgling noises? It was Hega blown clear the off. They have an unkempt look. He's got no head. All right, it's like a bullet driver. A jerk of the female variety. <laughs> Stop right there, strangers. If you want to get into Rhodia, jewel of the LA wetlands, and home of the world famous Rhodia Towers, you got to donate to the Rhodia Security Bullet Fund. Six bullets per person. Fun. The leather jerks can't keep Rodia safe without bullets, so we take bullets. Simple as that. How can we protect you if you don't pay? Hey, we can call ourselves that. Nobody else can. Don't start something you can't finish. All right, yeah, I guess that's cool. I'm done talking until you're done paying. We got to keep the line moving. Now, come on, six bullets per. Take it. Thank you, citizen. And listen, you all look like you know how to handle yourselves. If you're looking for work, see our boss, Enormous O'Biggin, or Lieutenant Dangler, his second in command. He's little, but he's got a big brain. And that brain will fuck you up if you ain't careful. Hmm. O'Biggin? Our boss lets his fists do the talking. He hits like a car wreck. You best stay on his good side. Always work for gunslingers around here. Rhodia takes a lot of protecting. People yeah, come from miles around to see these towers. No idea why. They don't do anything. Even the old transmitter that turned them into radio towers don't work anymore. Good for hanging out the laundry, though, ain't it, boys? It don't work no more, and we don't want it fixed. Lieutenant Dangler says it rots the brain. Oh. This place was a real shithole till we brought our civilizing influence. Now it's a jewel. Have a All nice right. day, citizen. A monetary system based on bullets. The world is endless in its variety, isn't it? Hey, Pokey, those guys got guns. Stand back. You got that pipe wrench. Hmm. He has no teeth. <laughs> he didn't pay her. If he still got bullets, he didn't pay her enough. Alright. Alright. He got clips to spare. See him smile? He got no teeth. I like to poke things in my poker. But it's a blunt weapon. Oh, missed opportunity there, buddy. Huh, 
That's the mayor. Please excuse my unfortunate state, strangers. My new constituents are practical jokers. The uh, leather jerks, thinking back on it, their name really should have tipped me off. <laughs> Indeed, that's what they call themselves. I wouldn't think of calling them that as a pejorative. I hired these uh, jerks to help us after we had some trouble with the children of the Citadel. Well, we are certainly secure now, indeed. The jerks have secured my house for their headquarters and our towers for their fortress. I have never felt more secure. <laughs> now, why would hard-bitten adventurers such as yourself want cat litter? Oh, oh yes, for radiation poisoning, right. Yes, I've heard that. Well, Dr. Horchata might have some on hand, but other than that, I couldn't say. He's been searching for the cause of the sickness that's killed a quarter of our town. I'm sure he would welcome any help you could give him. Oh, all right. Some sort of parasite, the doctor says. Worms in the belly, highly unpleasant. He doesn't know where it's coming from. Strange half-mechanical cultists from the south. They claimed we had reneged on a trade agreement with their leader, Matthias, and were only taking what was owed to them. But they wanted the whole town. That's why I called in the jerks. Siths were raiding our produce shipments and storming our walls. Huh. Maybe I should have asked the Mannerites instead. But that, Mr. Manners, just rubs me the wrong way somehow. Well, yeah, you pay for that. Well, they're very polite. But that's not the same as nice. Is it? No, no, it's not. Only what I hear on the radio. Always promising everybody a better life of peace and prosperity, but he seems more interested in war and conquest. I wish he'd go away. Hmm. Caged is a strong word. I prefer enjoying enforced contemplation. <laughs> and as the mayor and the man who invited these, uh, leather jerks into our fair city I have many sins to contemplate so I try not to look on my situation in a negative way indeed I believe it's doing me a power of good well I believe I'm the former mayor now <laughs> I really did try to do something for this town it it was just the wrong thing help me oh Heavens, no. I'm fine. Uh, plenty more contemplating to do. But if you wanted to help the town, you might ask my old constituents. They'd probably love some help getting rid of my new constituents. Well, let's see. Uh, there's Ulrich at the saloon, Dr. Horchata at the clinic, uh, Mr. Gecko at the bank, and not to mention my poor son. You might also see how things are in Limbo Town, where most of our farmers live. I was about to call for an investigation of a sickness that has swept through the townsfolk there, but I didn't get the chance before the jerks so kindly gave me this time to reflect. <laughs> time to reflect. All right. He's been getting a lot of business from the jerks since they came to town, but it's not really business if they don't pay, is it? No, it's not. Last I saw, Mr. Gecko was deep in conversation with the leaders of the jerks. I had one of those conversations with him, and I ended up here. So I don't care to think what may have happened to him. Yes. I fear the jerks are torturing him. You see, now that I've become the mayor, he's taken over the family business, our distillery. The jerks have taken quite an interest in learning our old family recipe for tequila. And I'm very much afraid they're trying to beat it out of poor Chris. If you could see your way clear to rescuing him, I would be very much obliged. Well, y yes, but I don't know it. I always left the running of the distillery to my employees. I'm much more interested in politics. Chris, on the other hand, is very hands-on. Learned the business at the knee of my old foreman, Ernesto, uh, before he passed away. In fact, the only place that that recipe exists, other than in Chris's head, is in Chris's safe deposit box in the bank. And these days, I'm not sure that's the safest place for it. Listen, you look trustworthy. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind doing me a personal favor, if you save Chris, 
Could you ask him to take the tequila recipe out of the bank and give it to you for safekeeping? Or, or if you somehow find your way into the bank, could get it and hold on to it for me until I'm out of this cage? I promise, I will make it worth your while. Oh. Well, that's where all the folks who farm in the crater live. Old man Dante has the biggest spread over there, but it's a big community. I'm sure quite a few of them could use your help. Indeed, the Von Gross Distillery, home of the hard-boiled tequila. We're one of the largest distilleries in the L.A. wetlands, but the jerks seem to want to enlarge it still more and convert all our farmland to agave production to supply it. A ridiculous notion. But what would we all eat? True, true. <laughs> You're right. I don't have a very good track record on that, do I? I mean, I thought the leather jerks were trustworthy. But, well, I just like the cut of your collective jib, so I'm going to go with my gut and hope I got it right this time. <laughs> hope. <laughs> well, I am the richest man in Rhodia. Uh, at least I was. And I probably still will be if you get rid of the jerks as soon as possible. The longer they're in power, the more time they have to spend my scraps. So maybe you should hurry along. Come back any time. I'll just be hanging. He accepts the cage more calmly than did I. Truly, he has a great spirit. Hmm. What's in the box? Antibiotics. I don't need that. Very tail animal. Uh, welcome, Over. straight. You to drink, or do you want some of that nastiness those leather jerks are selling in my back room? I'm going on cat litter. Ah, you're looking for rad soup makings, right? Well, I haven't got any, but some of the farmers keep cats. Ask old Dante, he might have some. And Dr. Horchata, too. He treats the occasional case of radiation poisoning. Hmm. That damn fool of a mayor hired him to save our town from some synths. Now we need saving from them. Their leaders, O'Biggin and his lieutenant, Dangler, decided that keeping the peace meant keeping a piece of every damn thing he could get his hands on. And they sure act like they own my place, I'll tell you that for free. Installed that big fellow with an axe over there as the bouncer. They never pay for a drink, scare all my customers away, make me pay sky-high prices for the booze from the distillery. I'm pouring shots hand over fist and not making a bullet. Somebody ought to do something. Yeah. Yes, you should. Oh, you want me to help? Sorry, stranger. I'm a coward. No good at all in a fight. But, well, I could maybe slip old Pat the Axe here a Mickey if you wanted me to. Could take him out of the game. Huh. Oh, what's a Mickey? Yeah, a Mickey Finn. A time-honored practice among dishonorable bartenders. Sadly, I ain't got no makings. But if you were gonna start something with the jerks, and you wanted to even the odds a bit, you could get me some chlorohydrate from the clinic. A little of that in Pat's tequila, and he wouldn't wake up until it was all over. Ooh. It's the big building near the crater. Jerks crawling all over it these days. Can't say as I'm happy about the state of affairs, but what am I gonna do? I wouldn't have anything to sell without that place. See you around, strangers. And bring some of those knockout drops with you next time. You got it. General announcement, everybody. Just got a big order in from New Washington. Everybody will be working double shifts until the chips. Thanks. New Washington? This... this looks very clinical. Let's talk to the doc.
Hmm. Some convincing. Ooh, like it was half, huh? Alright. Well, we have a microscope. Let's see. I thought I gave it to you. There is wisdom behind his sharp tongue. Oh. Alright. That's cool. None of our stuff's gonna help. What ain't that? Help. Cure. Alright. Alright, let's head on out. I have seen plagues like this. Darwin suffered them all the time. This must be Limbo Town. Talk to Earl. Hmm. Like the piss ants. Mare's fault. Towers. Do something. Me and my gun and no ammunition. Get some XP here. Pick that a lot, get some XP. I don't like the fact that there's flowers, flies buzzing about. Ooh. Alright, let's not hang out there after people dying. Put this one. Hogarth. Red 9 on black 10. Alright. It's okay, mommy, I'll fix it. What? Cantilever. One or the other. Success. All right, that didn't help anybody. Listen up, here. people. Commander O'Biggin wants me to tell you that shortages in the warehouse will not be tolerated. Anyone caught skimming will be beat like a rug, then hung out to dry by the front gate. Thanks. Great. Alright. 
doing something. Alright. Not getting much help out of the townsfolk, I guess. Not to be all that able to do anything. What is this? Monetary system, yes? Let's see. Let's see. No count. Yes. Where's the gecko? Let's talk to Mr. Gecko. It's hardly a robbery. Alright. Oh, he likes a lot of jerks. Can't let her? No. Strongest safe in LA. Oh, and they trade ammo around. So on the bullet standard. Alright. Alright, so about 24 hours, huh? Entangler. Okay. Yeah, he likes the jerks. Hmm. All right, so he's not on our side. Hmm. He likes now that I hear more, it sounds less like a system and more like a scheme. Oh, crater. Let me crater side supply. This crop must be nourishing if everyone is planting. Digging a hole. Digging a hole. Let's see what we get in this hole. Something good? Yeah. Not better, really, at all. I hope they do. Oh, there's the well. Let's see. Who got the grappling hook? What's the It's them! Gosma with. Where do they have your stuff? In the town square. Thank you, ma'am. Echo, Roger, Echo 1. Did you copy that transmission? 10 4, sending you the coordinates. Santa Monica's nice, all right. Stay face out. Ah, you ruined my thing, man. Dead this sick. is appalling. Suicide as an act of war? Let's see. Corpse hatched at the end of the hook. Everything in the corpse's pockets is waterlogged. The notes he was carrying are now legible pulp. Carved with his chest, I died for the future. Alright, dead synth. So we head back to the dock with this information and see what he wants to do next about it. holding a harvest contest. The farmer who delivers the most agave to the distillery by sundown tonight gets a hundred bullets first prize. 
Second prize is, you get to keep your farm. Third prize is full-time employment on my farm, which used to be yours. So get busy, Yoko. That's messed Thanks. up. That is... <laughs> oh, what? That letter? I have to go figure out the cure. Alright. Oh, he's funny looking. Copy Ranger David. Echo 1, congratulations, Echo 1. Is infected on hot key. So we're gonna head on back to that well and disinfect the Something's water. Something's wrong with these people. Yes, Ralphie, something is wrong with these people. Hmm. So I disinfect and go from there. Whatever. Why did you even save my life? I can't even... Alright. Disinfect. Alright. Incredible! You succeeded by saving lives, not ending them. Unusual for you. Can't bash that. Can we open it? Nah, it's locked. The heck is Satan? <sighs> no, can't. Let me calm it. Yeah, one percent critical failure. No, thank you. You're not calm and little Satan possum over there. Ooh, what do we have here? That's better. Failure. What? There we go. And what's this right here? Alright, Brawler. Your turn. Do your thing. Disable the whatever is on it. Explosives. Good job. Crack it. 100%. Not a problem. This place is out of harmony. Why do they all grow the same thing? Yeah, I do that. Do not listen to Dugan. Do not let feet turn you into a hat letter. The future you will be a slave. I want to save Bring him no offering. Worship not at his altar. Mm. He is a false guy. Husband. Die. Pistol Pete. Nah, we know Pistol Pete is alive. Sell poker to us. Butcher must sell some meat. What? Let's see. Okay, I'll make these worse. Mayor. He's a fool. Metal man. That's probably since possum farmer. Hmm. Ah. 
Oh, big and likes possum meat? Oh, that's why I want it. That's so sad, you caught behind the woodshed. <laughs> our best rug. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they look like you. <laughs> what a bitch. A total bitch, Beatrice. Stop the poor man. She's very expressive. <laughs> I did it backwards. Cat litter. Favor. Like a possum. <laughs> All right. Uh, you getting a better deal? Do something. Okay. Shape charge. Let's go back and see Doc. Mm. 
put this infect in the well. We can see what he's got going on with that. Yes, we had a disinfectant to the well. And I, I don't want to enslave you. I want to destroy you. But at least you will have your freedom until your doom comes upon you. Don't let Matthias. I wonder if his eye is a mutation or the result of some illness. We'll give him the uh, Mickey Finn maker stuff. Okay, listen. I know everybody's worried about the sickness that's going around, but please, please don't call it a play. It's bad for Well, still waiting on that chloral hydrate. Fantastic. Now if you just give this drink to old Pat over there, he he's had a few drinks today already, so you might have to wake him up first. All right. You got a cattler? Ah, you're looking for rad soup makings, right? Welcome back, strangers. There's the guy right there, Happy Axe. Come here, little bun bun. No, bunny, don't go. <laughs> oh. <sighs> oh, woke up, Axe. You. Are bad! You took away my dream! The axe is going to kill you! Did you give old Pat the Mickey yet? He's gonna be a real pain if you start something with the jerks otherwise. Oh yeah, we took care of him. We're good here. Welcome back, strangers. Let's see. That's a Willis farm. That's it must be the shed I gotta bring her lock her up in. Alright. Uh, let's go right here. We'll cut it this way. Stuff in there. Alright, alright. Gotta find his wife Beatrice. Wherever the heck he is appeared to. Is she in the house maybe? Quick look in here. Nope, she ain't in there. Some peasant stuff in here. Fuck the brewery. <laughs> it's so dry. I had no idea alcohol was made in such large quantities. Is it an important part of normal life? Oh. Who's this guy? Peter the Hairy Greek Ventus. Halt! Who goes there? You're not allowed in here. Dangler's orders. Leave immediately. Your buyers? Damn. My mistake. Please have a look around, sample some tequila. But for your own safety, don't follow the workers or the guards. And stay in the main room. Everything else is off limits. Thanks. All right. Then go. Ooh. We got a safe. Disarm the explosives first. Mr. Brawler, do your best work there. 100%. Yeah. Go for it, medic. Oh, it's Chris Van Grass and someone else. What am I 
we've got. That's not honest. Sewer key. Oh, yes. Oh, I know what I have to do. Nice. Got me some distilled water. <laughs> what, can I just keep doing this? fun. Okay, I got a key to the sewers. So I think I want to try that. Let's try the sewer. I think I saw a sewer thing in the back of the bank. And if I can sneak my way into the bank, well that could be very, very interesting. Very, very interesting, to say the least. So let me give that a shot. Sickness is pretty much cured at this point. So that part of the quest line is done. I gave the old guy, Pat the Axe, the Mickey, so he should be out for the count for any fighting. Alright. 